Hi, this is Kian the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset Heltec development boards to factory setting. In this video, I use Wi-Fi LoRa 32 development board from Heltec with ESP32 microprocessor that supports LoRa, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Also with embedded display. In this method, we need Arduino IDE installed in our operating system. If you do not have it installed, you can download and install it by navigating to arduino.cc website. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet. Stay tuned. After running Arduino IDE, navigate to Sketch include library and select manage libraries search Heltec find Heltec ESP32 dev boards by Heltec automation click install to install the library installation is done it's time to connect your Heltec development board to your operating system. Mine is a Windows. Using a USB cable, you can connect it. My development board, as you see, has a program on it. After connecting your development board to your operating system, your system must recognize it by navigating to device manager selecting ports you should see your device if not you have to install the driver of your development board by navigating to this page which you can find its link in description you can find the driver of your development board as you see we have universal windows driver mac driver and etc i have connected my development board to PC. I'm running Arduino IDE with Heltec library in a stock. In Arduino, select file, examples, navigate to Heltec ESP32 dev boards. Choose a factory test and select your development board. Mine is Wi-Fi LoRa32, as I said. This page opens, you have to select your board. Mine is connected to COM5. It is LoRa. I'll take Wi-Fi LoRa32. Select it, click OK. Select a sketch and click Upload. Wait till uploading completes. Uploading is done. You see my development board is rebooted. And it is set to factory setting. If you have Heltec ESP8266 dev boards, you have to install this library in your Arduino IDE. After installing this library by navigating to File, Examples, you see Heltec ESP8266 dev boards are added to Examples. And you can try resetting your development. That's it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.